People don't pay at all, but it's subsidized by the government. This is not fair. We work hard, we pay, and then we get less benefit. So basically, we uh, would propose that the, everything will be integrated into one scheme so that there wouldn't be first class, second class, and third class patients. Because the uh, first class is the uh, uh, government people, they get very fancy treatment, including experimental, uh, experimental treatment. So if anything goes wrong, they die first. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, because, the, because experimental drugs is not included into the uh, national health security scheme. Right? We want to be experimented as well. So basically, it should be integrated for the sake of equity, not only equality. So and uh, that would imply the uh, the same rate of oh okay that would apply the uh, the same rate of the uh, costing per capita. It means that the cost per head should be the same. Second point is the uh, prevention fund that the, uh, we already discussed this morning. That uh, okay translated from Thai baht to the uh, U.S. dollars, six point six million uh, per year for key population. CSO are not actually officially and legally allowed to um, to directly receive funding from the government, so that's why they have another regulations to bypass the law. But this is only only temporarily. So first of all, we need to amend that law. And unlike other three countries here, Thailand has a very conservative legal system. Uh, we could blame the French, although that we were not colonized by the French anyway. But yeah, but that's what the uh, oh. Who is helping me? Okay, thank you. So basically, we need to change that law. But this law is not only pertain to uh, CSO funding mechanism, but it means that we have uh, have to change the whole government's uh, structure system. It means the whole country's government reform, and that's probably bigger than the shift program itself because it changed the whole system, right? And the second thing is the uh, Pigamon actually uh, also other CSO are worried that we will be focusing on too much on the uh, uh, key population. How about the sake of equality and equity? We're thinking about the proportion of 70 and 30, 7 to 3. 70% uh, to the key population where the needs are there, but we don't leave the other population behind by spending another 30% to the non-key population so that everybody will be served under this prevention scheme as well. And the third one is the um, more inclusive services package including PrEP that we are working on. So basically, this can be done through the uh, study of the uh, of the legal review that we have done already, and we found some interesting uh, uh, findings to advocate further, and more strategic information for advocacy. So this is where she uh, comes in. Last point in terms of UHC, in Thailand there has been already the community health clinics run by NGOs. So basically by Rainbow Sky, by Swing by a number of organizations, but they are not yet recognized as the health facilities that the National Health Security Office can buy the services from. So we need to I need the accreditation of the CSO administered health community health clinics. So like uh, so that the uh, we can be directly uh, subsidized by the National Health Security Office. So to, in order to do so, we need to talk with our Department of Disease Control, saying that community health clinic must be considered as health facilities. And the second one is the uh, Council of Laboratory Technology Professionals. This is one setback of the Thai society because nowadays uh, lab people said that drawing blood should be the professions of only medical technologies. Not even the nurse. Nurse cannot even draw blood anymore in Thailand. So we have to think about task shifting in order to enable non-laboratory techni uh, technicians to draw out uh, the blood for HIV testing. Third one is the uh, uh, for the NHSO. We need a system to register CSO-run uh, community health centers so that they are officially recognized and the process is still underway. Last one is that we need the um, we need more strength and coalition such as the uh, CRM that PNG presented the, uh, on the first day, the CSO resource mobilization, and more extended members uh, give example, the uh, Thai NGO Coalition on AIDS, other big organizations, PV Network and LGBT Network. I just realized as I was speaking too fast, but uh, astaghfirullah. Okay, it's finished. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Stay there. Um, perhaps there are questions from the other groups? No.
<laughs> no? No questions? Okay, can we keep? Really? Okay, now I can pee. Alhamdulillah. Can we give Team Thailand? Oh, the Pusalo. Thank you.